After a long workday, it's hard to find time to cook and eat healthy. But Power Bowls are a game changer for building healthy habits when I'm strapped for time. Balanced with grains, vegetables, and protein, they nourish and keep me feeling full. They're also great for meal prep. I like to batch prep my ingredients in advance on a Sunday so that I can mix and match them into different bowls during the week. For me, building a balanced bowl is a simple formula, and I always make sure to include ingredients from each of the following groups. Grains, vegetables, protein, some healthy fats, and as flavor enhancers, you can also add sauces and toppings. The great thing about Power Bowls is that you can use any ingredients you like. I'll show you some of the ones I like to use, but feel free to build your own. Let's get started. As the grain for my bowls, I like to use quinoa because it's a superfood that's packed with nutrients, rich in protein, and a great source of fiber, vitamins, and minerals. It's gluten-free with a lot of anti-inflammatory health benefits. It's also super easy to make, whether you're using a pot on a stove or using a rice cooker. Regardless of which method you use, I always make sure to give the grains a good rinse first. Quinoa contains a bitter tasting outer coating that should be rinsed off first before cooking. Otherwise, it may end up tasting quite bitter. I like giving it a quick soak in a bowl of cold water, and then putting it into a strainer and giving it a final rinse for about 30 seconds. Now that our quinoa is rinsed, let's start with the stovetop method. Place your rinsed quinoa into a pot and use a ratio of two cups of water for every one cup of uncooked quinoa. I found this general rule of thumb works best for most cooking methods. Bring the pot to a boil. Then once it reaches boiling, lower the temperature to a simmer. Cover with a lid and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. You'll know the quinoa is done when the water has been absorbed into the grains. Once it looks cooked, remove the pot from the heat and let it rest for another 5 to 10 minutes while covered. Give it a fluff with a spatula and it's ready to serve. When cooking with a rice cooker, the same rules apply. Give it a good rinse under cold water and for every one cup of uncooked quinoa, use two cups of water. Place the rinsed quinoa in your rice cooker and set it to cook. And after it's finished cooking, give it a fluff with a spatula to get these perfectly cooked little grains. Now that our quinoa is cooked, let's get our other ingredients ready. I like using a variety of different ingredients in my bowls for a balanced meal. They all have their own nutritional benefits, but I also like that they add different textures to the mouthfeel, whether it's the grittiness of quinoa, the crunchiness of a carrot, or a tender piece of chicken. Having that variety makes it more enjoyable to eat, because let's be real, eating a bowl of spinach is boring. Before we start prepping our ingredients, we want to make sure that we give our vegetables, like our leafy greens, a good wash. A quick way that I like to do that is using a salad spinner. It makes it super easy. You dump your vegetables into the salad spinner, give it a soak in cold water for a few minutes, and then lift the basket, which acts as a strainer, so that you can discard the dirty water, which has collected all the dirt from the vegetables. But obviously, we want our greens to be as dry as possible, and this is where the salad spinner really shines. You put the lid on, and start spinning. The bowl underneath will collect any remaining water that's left, which you can dump out, and then you can repeat and give it another few spins to dry them more. I find that this is the quickest and simplest way to wash and dry things like leafy greens. Now that our greens are washed and dried, we can start chopping. For this week's meal prep, I'm going to start by chopping up some carrots. I like cutting them into little matchsticks and adding them to my bowls for a bit of crunch. Kale is one of my favorite leafy greens. It's got a ton of nutritional benefits, being rich in antioxidants and high in fiber, and it also helps support good digestion, heart health, and bone health. Cherry tomatoes are rich in antioxidants with a number of health benefits, but I mostly love them for the juiciness they bring in balancing out a bowl full of veggies. And the same goes for cucumbers. They're great for keeping you hydrated because most of its weight is water. Bell peppers are great sources of vitamin C. You can find them at the grocery store in green, yellow, orange, or red, often based on how ripe they were when they were picked off the vine. The longer they stay on the vine, the sweeter and more nutrient-dense they become. Radishes. They're great for your skin, digestion, and heart health, and even have antifungal properties. Broccoli. Very nutrient-dense and packed with vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. I like the florets because they soak up a lot of sauces and dressings. I also like to add some roasted chunks of sweet potatoes to my bowls to add some contrast to the vegetables, both in texture and sweetness. They're also a great source of complex carbs, and they keep me feeling full. 
I do like to squeeze some lemon juice into my bowls. Just add some brightness and a pop of citrus. And now that we've got our vegetables all prepped in advance, we can store them away in the fridge until we're ready to use them for a meal. But for now, let me share with you three different bowls that I like to make with these ingredients. Today, I'm using one of my favorite dressings for all three bowls, which is this green goddess dressing that I made. Packed full of herbs in a Greek yogurt base, it's very versatile and goes great with any bowl. It's super easy to make and can last for days in the fridge, which is great for meal prep. If you're interested in learning how to make it yourself, I've made a separate video that'll show you how, and I've included the link in the description below. Now for our first bowl, we're gonna start off the base of our bowl with some kale. Then we're gonna add a scoop of quinoa, some cherry tomatoes, carrot sticks, cucumbers, and some chicken breast for protein that I roasted in my air fryer. I'm topping it off with some dried cranberries for a bit of added sweetness. Then I'm drizzling a couple spoonfuls of my green goddess dressing. You can add more or less depending on your tastes. And then to add a hint of brightness, I'm giving my bowl a squeeze of lemon juice. And for some healthy fats, a couple of sprinkles of crushed almonds. And that's it for bowl number one. Simple, healthy, and well balanced with your protein, veggies, and grains. For our second bowl, we're going to start off with a kale and broccoli base, and then add a scoop of quinoa, some orange peppers, some sliced radishes, and some sweet potatoes that I seasoned and roasted in my air fryer. Then I'm going to top it off with some avocado, because, well, who doesn't love avocado? It's one of my favorite healthy fats that I love to mix into my bowls, because it helps keep me feeling fuller between meals and adds a really nice creamy texture. And then again for some added citrus, I'm giving my bowl a squeeze of lemon juice. You can hit it with some black pepper if you'd like. And of course, we're going to finish it off by drizzling some of our green goddess dressing. Oh wait, I almost forgot my protein, so I'm going to add a couple of sliced hard boiled eggs on the side. And that's bowl number two. Now for our third and final bowl, we're going to start off with a handful of broccoli as our base. Then add a scoop of quinoa, a handful of chickpeas, some mixed beans, our oven roasted chicken breast, some orange pepper slices, and some cherry tomatoes. Squeeze some lemon juice, hit it with some black pepper, add a few chunks of creamy avocado, and for this bowl, I'm also going to add a few spoonfuls of salsa. and I'm gonna to top it off with some dried edamame for a bit of crunch. And finally, we're gonna take a spoonful of our green goddess dressing, which for this bowl, I'm gonna use as a dip on the side for the chicken. And that's our bowl. I gave three examples today of how I like to create my own bowls, but you can be creative with your own combinations of healthy ingredients, sauces, and toppings. Introducing variety into your meals with simple ingredients that are easy to meal prep makes it easier to stick to healthy eating habits because it saves time, reduces meal boredom, and gets rid of decision fatigue. What are some of your favorite ingredients and combinations? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you'd like to watch more, click here for another video. And if you enjoy my content, I'd really appreciate if you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.